We'll see how it goes for this decorated kickboxer. Nice to see him cross over into the UFC. And a lot of people feel like if he can get on sort of an Alex Pereira type trajectory in terms of the work ethic and the approach, could be a future world champion. Well, he looks like it. He seems to have all the skills and he says the right thing. We were talking to him the other day. He spoke about all the time they're spending in the gym working on the wrestling because he knows that the kickboxing is embedded in him. He has done it so long, he can do it on cruise control. But the wrestling has improved. And he said, because this wrestling's improved, you guys are going to have to stand with him. When they have to stand, he said the lights will be shut off. Yeah. I cannot wait to see him perform. Dude's got power everywhere, and that's why a lot of these fans have traveled far and wide to see him compete live here tonight. Anthony Rumble Johnson has graced the octagon. He is ready to fight. his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30 and 0 now. He's chasing 30 and 0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this big clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Habib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's gonna get in your face. He's gonna try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hasbula in the corner. Habib Nurmagomedov looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend, Hasbula Magomedov, in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov set to fight Anthony Rumble Johnson. Fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. This is Dean is our referee Ready. tonight. Good. While his fans travel well, you can hear the buzz, and why not? Here he is, Anthony Rumble Johnson, a man considered by many to be the biggest power threat in the sport here at present. 16 wins by knockout, deadly mix of speed and power, and certainly a combination of skills that his opponent has to be mindful of here tonight. Now goes to the uppercut. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Beautiful. Working from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. <clears throat> Nermanko Medov's in half guard now. Oh, right into mount. <clears throat> now he's got good body position, yup. Oh, nice. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Well, 
Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nermago Meta. Oh, Kimura now. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. He's having his way with him here. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Now he's going full mount. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot be, just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Nermanko Medovs right back to the full mount here. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Looked pretty tight to me. I need you to move. Scramble. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, big elbow. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Look at that. Going to three yard bar. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Barely down arm bar. how he got his body all the way across to the opposite side. Now, he's in the on belly, but it's much better than where he was before. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Well, he continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. 15 seconds. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhand. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, this should be good as our next round gets underway. We nearly had a knockout in the previous round, but the corner seems to think they have their fighter back in the game. It felt good watching such an exciting moment, but it is a testament to this fighter in the toughness and the durability that he possesses that he's still here right now with an opportunity still to win the fight. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. These ground strikes are starting to add up. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how it chooses to advance from here. Oh, he 
Rose got the ground and pound going now. All right, so he sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Marco Medov's in half goal. Three minutes now to go in round two. Nicely done. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Khabib's back to the north-south position now. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Back and forth we go. This might be it. This Serena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call his shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it, that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle. All right, so Habib Nurmagomedov had a lot of submissions late in his UFC title run. He gets another one.